Since he started seeing like the snake, just the snake industry growing and growing, he's actually building a crazy, crazy facility. A hallback from last year. And you produced this, right? Yes, we produced. Oh my gosh, look at that belly. Man, that's a confusion trademark right there. Hey, what's up guys? How's everyone doing today? Um, well, as you guys know already that, you know, um, Morph Market Mexico is already in the works and that's, you know, to a big shout out to John from Morph Market. Uh, we've been talking back and forth on it and you guys know on MJ's Live, you know, I started talking about it, you know, and how excited I am about this. We've worked really, really, really hard for this. Now, I'm over here with um, one of my business partners, um, Hector with Union Pythons. You guys know that he actually came down to my house and purchased some powerhouse stuff. We're actually going to uh, be checking a lot of breeder stuff out here, but out here in Veracruz, there's a couple of breeders out here that are going really, really hard. Like one of his friends here, Omar from Dhaka Regis, he actually, you know, is a veterinarian. He's been doing this for a couple of years, uh, but now that he sees the growth in this and it's him hearing about the morph market thing going on, this guy is going hard and he is investing like crazy. We're about to go check out his collection right now and see the progress of what's going on. All right, so right here is my buddy Omar uh, from Dhaka Regis. Um, he's the one, he's a veterinarian, and man, I can't wait to show you the stuff that this guy's actually getting into, and well, yeah, let's get started. All right, guys, so right here is where you see his snake collection. Now, you're thinking, like, wait, what the hell, there's a bed right here? Well, like my buddy Hector said that, here's where all the snakes actually sleep at. Actually, I'm just playing. Um, so the reason to this, so this is the crazy part. So he actually had these snakes in a whole different location, but since he started seeing like the snake, just the snake industry growing and growing, he's actually building a crazy, crazy facility. And I want to apologize about, you know, not being too, uh, being a little too dark here, but everything right here, as you can see, he has a, uh, what's called a split unit up there. He has a heater. So everything is regulated here at 86 degrees. So they don't need no heat, um, they don't need no, uh, what's it called, heat pad or anything like that, heat strips or nothing. He actually already has a couple of breedings, he has actually had a few clutches like this. And from what I know, so yeah, he's one month in right now. So you know, it's really crucial for him to get all this stuff going because like I said, he wants to go super, super hard on it. And yeah, we're gonna go see everything he's doing right now. All right, Omar, so, so what's going on over here? I can see there's a lot of construction going on here. Look at all this, man. Yes, we are starting to construction like one month, and this area is making for the rats. So this area right here is going to be all for rats yes. right here. This area is all for rats, and the other room is going to be for the is for snake. Okay. All this room. So how much? I mean, is are both sections going to be for rats? No, just this section. Just this section That's right for here. For another thing. Okay. Man, I'm, I'm glad OSHA doesn't see this because, man, you kick one of these things down, too, these guys are going to fall right down. <laughs> Just like, so, um, how much, so how much uh, rats are you looking to produce? Uh, I'm trying to make like four more racks or four or five. Trying to add um, this, this way. And rats. would that take care of your whole collection? Uh -huh. Yes, I'm trying to produce my own food yeah snakes. okay awesome all right so right here this is going to be the complete rat room correct yes, this, this all of this right here and then in here there is the area for the snakes okay so all so now this right here is going to be all for your snakes yes these are for the incubation and the incubating place so it's going to be a cleaning place it's going to be an incubator here okay and then over these here on this route use racks of nothing snakes. but racks right here snake racks just getting all built out in and here look at all this guys and again, this is all just one month of, you know, um, work that's been going on over here. How insane is that? So how long do you think it's going to take for you to finish all of this? I think like five months. Five months? Yes. So maybe four more months left? Five or? more. Nice. This is so cool, man. I hope when it's all done, you can invite us over here again so we could, you know, do another tour. Would that be great? See? Yes. Perfect. So um, obviously, you know, everyone you know, is going to want to see some snakes. And I know you have some powerhouse stuff. So could you show us some snakes? Yes, we can go there. All right, let's go. All right, Omar. So right here is where you have your snakes right now, just for the meantime until your mm -hmm. whole, um, you know, your, uh, what's it called? Your new facility is done, right? Yes. How much snakes do you have total? We have like... 50, 60 snakes. 50, 60 snakes. How much snakes do you want to have total? Uh, I want to keep growing like 150, 200. Okay, so you snakes. want to go in hard, yes, right? I want to be more bigger than. Nice. So, um, how much clutches are you expecting this season? This season are uh, like 13, 14. 13, 14? Yes. So, we definitely want to see some powerhouse stuff, Max. I know you mentioned you bought some snakes from a couple of breeders out in the US, right? 
like Brad Boa, Brock, mm -hmm. um, Eye Candy, Morris. Yes, right? we the well la, the first snake we bought from from breeders from USA is yeah. from Gary. Was, oh, from Garrick the Meyer. Uh -huh, yeah. Was the Super Orange Dream Fire Enchi Pinstrap Yellow Welly. Nice. Well, let's let's check out some of your powerhouse stuff here. I know you shut up that snake right there, and that snake was beautiful. Yes, here is a. a a haul back from last year. And you produced this, right? Yes, we produced from the clutch leopard wow. pastel confusion. Look at that leopard with a pastel yellow belly. Okay, leopard pastel confusion, leopard yellow belly. No, yellow belly pinstripe. Oh, yellow belly pinstripe. Yes. Can we see the belly on this bad boy? Dude, look at that. And that's one of your holdbacks, correct? Yes, we trying to grow this this is uh, Segoy to start making clutch last year. Yes. Ma next year. Nice. All right, what else do you have here for us? There is another confusion, another holdback. Oh, this is a female. All right, and right here we have a leopard confusion. Leopard Enchi, Enchi confusion. Oh my gosh, look at that belly. Man, that's a confusion trademark right there. And you produce that as well, right? Yes. Nice. All right, now remember you were also showing us some crazy orange dream stuff that you have, like calicos, I believe, right? Yes, we have two, two calicos. Oh, this thing's one of my favorite snakes right here. That's a male. That's orange dream, par, enchi, calico, yellow belly. Dude, it's so freaking beautiful. And we have another with pastel. Again. Let me see, can I see her again? Mm -hmm. I want to see if you hold it real quick, just so people get an eye. And look at this. Wow, this thing is so beautiful. All right. That's a male. That one's a male? Yes. This is like 400 grams. And this is the female. So that's basically the same thing, just with pastel. With pastel and leopard. This female have leopard. And they're almost up to breeding size. Mm -hmm. It's like 500 grams. That is so cool, man. Now you have this very powerhouse male, right? That um, that I believe uh, <laughs> look at our lighting. <laughs> that Hector Virginia pythons. <laughs> what? <laughs> Could you show us there? <laughs> so there's a rumor that uh, Hector said that this this uh, hurricane. Wait, what's the combo to the snake? It's a hurricane pastel enchi disco. Disco. Okay. Head hurricane clown. pastel enchi disco. Head clown. Head, head clown. Head hypo. Head Pimp. And head pimp. So Hector said that the rumor is that he bred up to 25 females. Nah, is that it's, true? It's just a joke. It's like oh. four or five females. Oh, four or five females. All I was going to say, <laughs> man, you need to teach me your methods. Okay, I'm just trying to show some people like that. Could you hold it with two hands so I could get a good look at it? Now, this came from uh, from Santiago, from Mike Candy yes, Morph, correct? This mail was from Mike Candy Morph the last year. Yeah. And we just this year start making some clutches with him. Oh, right there, right there. Hold them like that. Oh, that is beautiful. Now, Hector over here, um, you guys remember watching the, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, Real Monsters? Remember the little pink thing with the two hands? You don't remember seeing that? <laughs> That's how Hector looked. No, but Hector has a snake over here as well that already ovulated, right? That's yes, due to really have a clutch. Like a clutch with a, a coral or banana. Could you bring her up here, if you don't mind, please? Mm -hmm. Like, you can bring the whole tupper. That's oh. a banana champagne. So this right here is... Hector. Yes. The, so what is this again? Banana champagne head clown. Banana champagne head clown. And then you put that freaking hurricane clown to that? Yes. Now yes. let me ask you this. So a lot of people do, you know, breeder loans and stuff like that. It causes a lot of problems. Now how long have you guys known each other for? Oh, like one year. One year? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you guys trust each other, right? Yeah, yeah. So what happens if she hatches just one <laughs> clown, like a hurricane clown? Like, say it's like... Every other snake's worth like five hundred, three hundred dollars, and then you hit that one snake that's worth like ten thousand dollars. What happens? This time we we trying to make by uh, what do you say? Volado. I, I don't know how we you say. Just, oh, we heavy just, tails. We yeah, just oh. flip a coin, and the winner going to have the, the first pick. The first pick. Yeah. Oh my god! And you guys are gonna be okay with it, no matter what. Yes, man. That's the the way here in Mexico. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Anybody want to make a bet that these guys don't end up getting along after this? <laughs> no, I'm All right, well, you know what, uh, Omar, again, 
Thank you very much, man. I know you don't have um, you don't have Instagram, but you do have Facebook. Your Facebook is Daka Regius. Is Daka Regius, right? Of the... So it's Daka Regis is what it is, right? Yes. Yeah, I'll put all the information in the description down below. Um, a couple things I want to ask you is, um, you're are you trying to? You're a veterinarian, of course. I know if I ask you, but you're trying to do this full time, or are you gonna do it part time? Uh, I want to make this bigger, more probably uh, I work for all time. Yeah. But I just have help from my wife. Yeah. And she helped me to cleaning, to feeding. The oh, so your animals. wife's a part of this too. Yes. Yeah. So okay. So you want to do this? You you definitely want to grow this business. Now, another thing I want to ask you is. How have you seen the Spanish, the Mexican market in ball pythons or just reptiles in general grow? Has it been a big spike in the last two or three years? Yes, I when I think these these years are making more progress in this in this is the industry. Yeah. It's like bigger than it's getting crazy, right? That's what I keep on telling everyone, man, and it's, it's just so insane and Again, thank you for letting us come over here and check out your facility, man. We really appreciate it, man. Seriously. And uh, man, guys, go check out his facility and everything. And like I always say, man, we appreciate all the support. Till next time. Peace. Yeah.